Our biggest concern was the labor market. We want to do things more efficiently, and we're having a hard time hiring people. Everyone I talk to, everybody's having the same problem. We want to do things faster, and automation has allowed us to speed up. It's also allowed us to have less of a labor force need. And the folks that we do have, we're able to invest in them and teach them new things. We've been able to eliminate over half of our forklifts, and forklift safety is is a, a big responsibility for the company because when people and forklifts engage, that's usually where accidents happen and people get hurt. One of the things that you'll see when you walk out on the floor is you'll see parked forklifts. So that means we're not using them like we used to. We're now letting the robots do the work for us. Putting in robots like this has helped us quarantine sort of an area where these robots can operate safely around the clock and, and people generally don't need to go in that area to interact with them. We've created an, another environment that's even safer than it was before. Adding in these robots has helped us reduce our training time from about three to four weeks to a day. It's focused on training people on how to operate a forklift. You just have to train them on what I would call quite a, an easy system to learn. We've had good support because things happen. There's system issues. There's there's things that we didn't expect, but having the support to work through the problems has been very important to this. Our profitability is really about our cost. We've been able to improve our efficiency four times. We're going four times faster than we were before. We were able to automate, reduce our cost, improve our efficiencies and productivity.